Hi, I'm heading off today to the photography show, photo show, I think it's called, in Bath, um, where Nikon are going to be there, Sigma are going to be there, all sorts of people are going to be there. And um, I went into the London Camera Exchange in Bath the other day because I wanted to buy a memory card to take to the spiritual retreat that I was photographing. And I also wanted to ask about um, potential upgrades for the future. So I was asking about um, lenses and, you know, my options really. Um, and they talked to me about the Sigma art range of lenses. So this is what I want to go to this photo show today to test out. I want to try out my Sigma 85mm lens. Why is it every time I start recording in the garden, like we're in a village, right? And every time I start recording in the garden, a ton of traffic goes right past as if it's the motorway. <sighs> so I wanted to compare my 85mm 1.4 Sigma lens to the other ones, basically, because I would like a wider lens, 1.4 or 1.2, that I can get you know, wider angle, but with the same magic that I get from the 85mm lens. I'm really hoping this is going to be possible, so let's see how we get on. Uh, 549, plus then you get 10% of the show, which is 494. Do you mind being in the video? There's my little D3 looking all ancient. <laughs> Hello, so I'm on my way home from the photography show and I just thought I would stop and fill you in with my thoughts. I've just gone past Lake Oak Abbey actually where some of Harry Potter was filmed. I wanted to stop and show you but it was a bit, a bit busy on the road so I couldn't. So I've stopped here outside this nice church behind me. Um, and yeah, so I couldn't actually test out any lenses because they didn't take with them the lenses that would fit on the D3. And they didn't have, so, so the, the range of lenses that they had were all for the Z range. Um, so I couldn't do that direct comparison, which was a bit of a shame. Um, but I did go over and speak to um, Bruno at Nikon who um, showed me the Z8. It's really nice, isn't it? It's really, like I asked him about the difference between the Z8 and the Z9 and he said it was, it's the same camera internally, but it's just smaller. So it's more about the bodywork. So the Z9 is um, bigger, more robust. It's got the lockable um, cover for the, memory cards which actually I found a little bit fiddly so I wouldn't miss that um, and also as you know I struggle with knots in my shoulders so having a lighter version of the Z9 would actually be really good for me I think so I held the Z8 which was which was a lovely camera to hold because it had although it wasn't as chunky as the Z9 it had a nice firm grip still to hold on to so and they had a 1.2 50mm lens that, that went on the Z8. Um, so I got some details to potentially borrow some more kit for the channel. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel like quite drawn actually to the Z8. And I'm thinking that that could be my upgrade option when it becomes possible. So. Um, Sigma, I think they are going to send me some lenses to play with. I ended up slightly confused about which ones will fit on my D3 though. I'm going to have to call it a day there because there's a car trying to park. Hello again. So this is a few days later and I just wanted to say stay tuned for all this um, spiritual retreat photography coming up. I've been thinking about my options for upgrading my kit when I can and 
since talking to Bruno at um, Nikon, uh, and actually it might have been the person at London Camera Exchange, I can't remember, but somebody said to me that, you know, the, the D6, the D5, they're all discontinued and they, you know, potentially won't be making DSLRs anymore as everything's gone mirrorless. So actually a massive part of me is feeling quite, drawn to perhaps upgrading to a D6 because then I'll have the kind of newest DSLR, the last one made if you see what I mean. So the, the D6 is only three years old and then there's always time to go mirrorless later on down the line. So yeah, who knows? What, what do you guys think? <laughs>